Hey guys, Mikas here for your live electronic music tutorials, of course presented by WeMakeDanceMusic.com, the largest music production platform on the internet. And this is not only about dance music, we also do film score, a lot of uh, classical remake, there's a lot of pop. There's definitely a lot more than dance music on WeMakeDanceMusic.com, so if you guys want to know, we've been up for 10 years, we have over 13,000 products from 500 producers that make music they love, they upload the project file literally to the platform and you can download them and learn from them, remix them, create new tracks from them. This is what it's all about. Guys, it's episode 279, which is another episode where you have to smash that like button. And then today we're gonna make some kind of classical music, really. Well, let's call it film score for today, ambient. I'm starting this episode with a chord progression that you will definitely recognize within the first 15 seconds if you know a little bit about classical music, maybe you don't. If not, well, this is a very interesting one to start with. Don't let from the internet, and I think it's gonna be good. And of course, I'm gonna finish this track, make three templates. It's gonna be available for you on our site. Let's get started, guys. So these chords, I mean, those are relatively simple, but uh, it's something else. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna hide that from you guys. So my thought, my thought is like, oh, this is this is cool. There's definitely something to do. There's two layers. There's the lower part, like the bass part, let's call it, and then there's the upper piano part here. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replicate it. I'm gonna put it here, and I'm gonna go and check what keys we have. I think I would even maybe merge them. Can I can I do this? I've never done this. Took. Put it on top of each other and then you G. I cannot, huh? Oh, this is odd. And I would like to join both of them together. Oh, yes. Here you go. <laughs> I might have to bring the bass back later, but I think I think it's interesting to have all of them here to can... So, I think I'm going to split it in half to start. I'm going to take this part here. I'm gonna make it longer because I want it to be, I want the keys to be there definitely, but I want it to be more kind of long, kind of film scorey kind of thing. So I'm not gonna keep those hits because they are, well, they're memorable and everybody knows them. I don't want them to be so recognizable that, you know, everybody knows this, this song. So, continuing with, with the idea we have, I'm gonna create another channel, replicate it, I'm gonna start layering right away and do a process here. Mm -hmm. Just, uh what I was looking for. I'm going to go to Legacy, Logic, there should be other pianos in there, pianos. And there's a piano and pad that I used before many times. If you guys didn't know, there's many, there's so much content in Logic that is not explored because people don't take the time to, to look into it. The strings here. Big difference already. It's a bit too loud. Oof, oof. I mean, this, 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 this progression is so prevalent in my head that I heard it so many times that I. I just want I just want to put the other part. I cannot I cannot resist it. It's it's just too strong. Usually I would be no 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 but this is like I can I can hear what I don't know what is the emotion that has been carried there and I want it. I don't want to to just just try to make something else yet at least. So now we're going to have the full. You can even join them. 
here. And here there's a little bit more weight to the keys too because it's about to evolve okay so now we have everything we don't really need to keep this I can redo it later I'm thinking I would like to hear a little bit of a brassy kind of back into orchestral here we go into brass and we definitely need some reverb but for now Like I said, we really need the reverb, so I'm going to do a bus. There is some in there, I'm not really interested in those, I'm going to use my own. I'm going to do silver verb. Bound grandiose, which I should cut a little because it's a very, very big room, but. much more room in there now so this the note velocity here on those keys are to me a bit too much why I cannot select these I guess if I select them here I will lower them a bit oh because I have multiple regions selected okay I'm getting there one step at a time No, I think it's time to go to some a bit more of an electronic soundscape in the sense that I'm going to do the process that I usually do. So I go create a retro synth here. I use the chords that are in there. Actually, I'm going to use the complex chord, not only the bass chords. I do this and I put an arpeggiator here. Then I'm going to lower the volume. Then, then we can create a sound from scratch, just for fun, for today at least.
Uff, uff, uff. Body around 150 there. I'm not gonna cut it all. Now I think I would like some kind of a low baseline. You know, I'm just layering first. We're gonna get to com compo compose something a little bit later. Don't worry, guys. Remove the ARP, of course. Go. Oh, I might keep retro synth. Let's see where we at in the scale. with a low pass filter, a high pass filter, not good. Fun. I think that those pads should work here. that stuck us up in there so I like these kits they're from the old 
the old Logic version. Off here, I guess. Actually, it was better like this. No, it's not. It's nice, I can just replicate it like this then. Definitely not a, not a kick drum. We're not talking electronic music here, but. Mark the time. Then continue with another instrument, which I'm playing live and I really enjoy this.
other part we can use need need to be mixed properly. Oh, I decided to save this. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna take a bit because it's obviously saving all the samples to the project and I'm using only you know orchestral samples so there's a lot with the keys we're done all right so it's all good so this is nice nice with the harp too I think the harp is cool I would like to cut the top of it I'm gonna create a bit of a natural filter with maybe a bit of a notch there just about to say that there is no bass so I think I'm gonna use a synth it's gonna make things easier or oh, it was already a synth but now we're gonna use alchemy which we should be able to find a nice kind of bass pad kind of thing oh hello compute not computing oh, let's go we see here no that's confusing <laughs> this alchemy don't want it to move ah it's moving now i'm gonna use the keys from the chords here i'm gonna look at the chords whoa the chords are really small here at the bottom clear did i delete this one too oh, that's what i wanted Really a lot better. I like this, I would like to have one beat out of two of this with a big kind of low end kind of thump, which will not be the original. This is good. I'm gonna bring it up. I think I already passed it. Ha, ah, I can't even see what sound it is. That's it. On this to really port. it here to really make it time I want the heart to shake ah I think I felt it so this is a bit of electronic a lot of orchestral and a whole lot of fun really just from a MIDI chord that we can just 
start developing and stuff and of course I'm going to turn it into a very complex template I mean definitely have a lot of ideas on how to do this now now I'm thinking I'm gonna have to play piano on top of this and well <laughs> I'm not quite the pianist I would say <coughs> but So that's the piano and the strings, it's not what I'm looking for. Maybe not, no delay on this, maybe a bit later. It's a bit hard, I mean, this is quite a track. I think I like the best part is this one. I like to, it's kind of freestyle jamming. There's one note that seemed to be off at the end, we can fix that. Let's see if we can make something of this. 
this. separate this into two sections that could be added to different parts which I will use in the template of course some arrangements and stuff but it's definitely a good start I think now I would like to add some kind of a some kind of a pad I think I'm gonna drop a perfect pad I'm gonna go here into pads because this one is quite easy to play and I think I can make it a little bit of key I'm not certain we'll look at my Let's see what whoop, what are we hmm? out of here to see here this definitely works here D, gonna put it all the way to D there. Hmm, definitely much more harmonious, I would say. Let's bring it to here. So that's a D for sure. Oops, sorry, that was a D for sure. Because this whole track is in D. guys this is gonna be it for episode 279 i will put on a lot more work into that this is definitely a good start if you know me and listen to my film score you know i'm gonna turn that into something really emotional and something really deep that you're gonna be able to remix and have fun with heard the start of a track you know what's coming and until next time may the sounds be with you